we're back on the Pioneer project and here you can see I've got this recording that's in record mode there that's what that red light means here and this is now my fifth run through and look at that beautiful sine wave I added probe to the second channel as well just so that we could see that left and right is the same and you know I also want to prove that to myself so Basically what I've done is I've replaced all the film and poly and most of the ceramics as well. Definitely anything in the bias path, gone. Gone and replaced. Just not worth mucking around with this anymore. And as you can see, it's all new electrolytics now. All new film, polys, blah, blah, blah. So I can report that those transistors now in here don't get barely even warm so you know this heat sink here there's two transistors that attached to that this gets way hotter than those two so I'm very pleased with this at the moment uh, we've got this lovely waveform you know what else can I ask for so the next thing I'm going to do here is we're going to basically put it all back together and just start doing the final adjustments, make sure the erase adjustment, make sure the um, metal bias and the whatever bias is, is all correct. And in fact you can see that when you hit these they do lower and raise and all that sort of thing so basically all we need to do now is just make sure that they're all going to the correct level and we're getting the right current going through to the head. So anyway, that's just, you know, basic sort of minor adjustment at the end. At least now we've got everything working, the, the bias is staying up, it's not disappearing. Like I said, this is the fifth run through this now, so yeah, I'm quite happy. Now I think, if I've mentioned it before, humidity is the killer of these things, or that's my opinion anyway. Um, they go bad so from here on when I service one of these decks uh, along with the electrolytics I'm just going to replace all of those as well it's just really not worth the the effort of trying to figure out what may or may not be wrong just replace them and hopefully the next owner can have this for you know 10-20 years with no trouble as well so there we go the next step after the adjustment is uh, I'll put it back together, stick it in the other room, hook it up to the amp and basically just play some tapes for a few weeks and once I'm satisfied that everything's working I'll um, probably list this for sale.